Hi, welcome to Yoga Sculpt. Today is stretch. It'll look very much like a typical yoga class, especially if you're um, used to taking a yoga class with me. Roll out your yoga mat and find child's pose. Have the knees just a little bit apart, big toes together. Fold your torso in, reach your arms out long in front of you. Let your arms rest, let the forehead come all the way down to your mat. Use these first few breaths of practice as a transition out of the rest of your day, fully present for this time for yoga practice. 25 minutes to find stretch and length and always a little bit of power and strength within that as well. Now, reach the arms out more actively in front of you. Pick up the head so that you're looking past your fingertips. Lift your forearms, elbows, upper arm bones to the sky. Have a little hollowing underneath your armpits. Use the fingers themselves to push a little forward and send your hips a little further back and down. Stay here. Take a nice full inhale breath. Fill from the belly. Exhale. Release it all out. Change to downward facing dog. Place the hands outer shoulder distance apart. Tuck the toes and lift your hips up and down. Pedal out your feet. If you've been utilizing the other yoga sculpt videos that I have for you, you'll notice this is the same start and warm up. Look in between your hands and move all the way forward. Step, jump, walk to the front of the mat. Come on up to standing. Place the palms right in front of the chest. What is your mantra, your intention for this practice? I'll leave it open for you. Inhale, lift the arms up to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Step back to plank. Lower flat down against your mat. Feel the chest up, cobra pose. Change to downward facing dog. This is Surya Namaskar A, or Sun Salutation A. We start each practice with two of these. Look forward in between the hands, step, jump, walk to the front of the mat. Half lift, hands can go all the way to the thighs to give you a little bit more room, make you engage and strengthen in the core. And then fold back down, stand up. I always stand with a little bend in the knees. Palms together, center of the chest. Reconfirming that intention, mantra, each time you're here. Inhale, lift and reach. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Step back to plank. Lower down. If you're using the Yoga Sculpt videos as a full plan, I like to go through legs day, first, then arms, core, cardio, and finally here to stretch. Look in between the thumbs, but of course you can mix up the order any way you'd like. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. If the traditional yoga asana practice is most comfortable to you, you might like to start your week here. Come back to this one every two or three days. Reconnect to where you feel best. Bend the knees, chair pose, Uttakadasana. This is Surya Namaskar B. We'll go two times through here. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Let your breath start to match with your movements. Exhale as you step back and lower down. Cobra, shoulders up and back. Put the elbows into the sides as you lift the chest. Downward facing dog. 
Step the right foot forward, spin the left heel down for your one. Arms overhead. Let's move pretty quick. Lower the hands, step back, lower down. Up the chest, back to downward facing dog. Step the left foot forward, spin the right heel down, come up right. Half a breath. Lower the hands right back down. Step through plank and lower. Inhale, lift. Downward facing dog. Steady the breath, steady your pose. Next inhale, look between the hands. Come all the way forward. Half lift, forward fold. Chair pose, bend the knees. Sit into the legs, lift the torso, Utkadasana. Stand all the way up, palms together, center of the chest. One more time through, Utkadasana, Uttanasana. Inhales, Ardha Uttanasana. The exhale, step back, lower down, Chaturanga Dandasana. Bhujangasana is your cobra pose. Adha Svanasana is down dog. Step the right foot forward. Come up for your one. Revere Bhadrasana Eka. Through the flow. Down to the mat. Back up the chest. Down dog. One more side. Left foot forward. Back heel down. For your one. Lower the hands. Step back to plank. To the mat. Pull the chest up. Down dog. Our aim is to make sure that we stretch and lengthen through each part of the body today, really finding a nice balance. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Again, Utkadasana. Stand. Palms together, center of the chest. Take a pause here for just a couple of breaths. Adjust your outfit, shake out the legs, all the things that work. And then stand in the center of your mat facing the long side of your yoga mat. With the hands at the waist, place the right foot onto the left leg. Start low in your tree pose or build it higher above the knee. Hands to chest or overhead. Don't be afraid to let the shoulders lift here and give yourself a little more length in each side of the waistline. Lower the hands and lower the leg. Place the left foot onto the right. Low along the ankle, higher along the calf, or higher to the thigh. Nice steadying balance as you reach the arms up. Tree pose, both a balance pose and a hip opener. Support the left knee out to the side, the toes down to the floor as much as possible. Again, lower the hands and lower the leg. Okay, taking that same tree pose, but into side plank. Is it downward facing dot? And then take the right hand, outer edge of the right foot to the mat, stack your feet, left arm up to the sky. This is side plank. Stay and work here. Or for another challenge, we add tree pose to this. So now it's the left leg that needs to lift up, place it along, same spot that you just found, lower or upper leg. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Lower down, downward facing dog. Try it on the second side. Left hand, outer edge of the left foot. Stack the feet, right hand to the sky. You stay here in side plank or build to your tree side plank. Lower the right hand, lower the right foot. Everyone, downward facing dog. Step your right foot forward into a low lunge and spin the right hand up to the sky. Twisted lunge. 
you might notice if you're used to taking classes with me that we're spending less time in many of the poses. We're still trying to go through the entire body in 25 rather than usually a 60 or 75 minute practice. Bring both hands to the inside, spin the left heel down. Walk the hands out, down dog lunge. And so there's a little less time in each pose. Overall though, we'll get into the whole body as we work along. Walk the hands back in, lift the back heel, set the back knee down to the mat, walk the right foot out to the right side. Turn the toes, the knee, the hip out about 30 degrees. Take your left hand off of your yoga mat and give it a little bit of weight. Look over your right shoulder. Twisted monkey pose, pull your left heel in and hold on to the back foot. If your hand doesn't reach the back foot, no problem. Just reach for it without holding on. We all have stages, work with which stage works for you, side to side in the body today. Walk it out. As you move back towards downward facing dog, take the right ankle over the left knee, bend the left knee deeply. Supi dog, so Supirindrasana with downward facing dog. And then set the left, right foot back down to your yoga mat. We're ready for the second side. Left foot forward. Keep the right fingertips down, lift the left hand up, and twisted lunge. From here, place the hand to the inside, spin the back heel down. So life's mostly like warrior two. Walk the hands out in front of you, split the top corner of the mat for down dog lunge. Moving from our hands to our hips, we're making the shape like downward facing dog. Nice strong warrior stance in the legs. And then walk the hands back in, lift the back heel. As you set the back knee down, heel toe the left foot out to the side and turn the toes, knees, hip, 30 degrees out. Take the right hand a little forward, a little over, and you can give it some weight, which should make this twist and twisted monkey a bit more doable. Look over the left shoulder. Adding in the quad stretch, pull the left heel in, sorry, right heel in, and reach the left hand to or towards the back foot. One more breath and release. Take it to Suki Dog, so we lift the back knee, left ankle over the right knee, bend the right knee deeply, so you're sitting low in the legs. Nice outer hip opener here. Take both feet back down to your yoga mat, bend your knees a good amount, and walk your hands backwards to your feet. We'll place hands to the waist, elbows to the sky, come on up to standing. Okay. Come again to the center of your mat, face the long edge of your mat, and take a wide stance. Extend the arms out in either direction, star pose, really big reach here. And then turn the right toes to face the front short side of your yoga mat, bend the right knee, warrior two. Keep the shoulders right over the line of the hips here. Change, side angle, elbow to the knee, and reach the left arm, palm down, long overhead. You can look to the side or add in a little more twist to look up to the sky. Now I like to keep the elbow on the knee, though some like to take the hand down to the inside of the foot here. If that feels good to you, you like the extra stretch, go ahead. For me, Staying lifted, a little more room, the top side of the body feels best. So we're always just looking, how can I help myself feel good, feel better through this practice? Come back to warrior two, right leg straight, hinge at the hips, triangle pose, and the right hand down, and left arm up to the sky. Look up if that feels good on the head, neck, and shoulders. If you notice any tightness or just for more ease and balance, look down at the front foot. See if that doesn't help you. Explore your practice. Full stretch in all directions here. And then inhale, come all the way back up. 
Find star pose again, feet parallel to one another. Fingertips together, bend the knees, step or jump all the way to the center. Just give ourselves a moment of breath. Pause in between the sides. Second side, fingertips in, step or jump wide. Turn the left toes out, so you're headed towards the back end of your yoga mat here. Bend the knee, warrior two. <laughs> you guys might see my Boston Terrier in the background. He's taking a nice smooth. I had to move down to the living room today. Elbow to the knee, right arm top. Top arm overhead, palm down and side angle pose. Always nice for a little change of scenery from time to time. And a good reminder, practice space is where you find it. It doesn't need to be a perfect setup, right? Come back to warrior two, stretch the left leg straight, hinge at the hips, go to triangle pose, left hand down, right arm up. I'm going to keep my focus down. I find that a little easier. I'm thinking of one line from bottom, hand all the way up to the top fingertips here. Inhale, come all the way back up. Feet parallel to one another. This time, wide-legged forward fold. Take the hands down and take them forward under the line of your shoulders. Take a long spine here. So I've got most of the weight in my toes and my hands. Wide-legged forward fold, Prasarna Padottanasana. So you can stay and work here or take the hands more in line with your feet and send the head more down towards the floor. This is not gonna be for everybody, but this is certainly one of my more favorite poses. I could stay here for a while. In the interest of time, we're moving on. Hands to the hips, press down into your feet. Come all the way back up. Heel toe the feet in. Shake out the legs a little bit. I'm going to face back towards the front and short side of my mat and have the feet still hip distance apart. A little more of timed work here. Bend the knees. And then fold all the way down and make all 10 fingers touch the ground. This is the way I like to start my uh, standing forward fold of Uttanasana. So all 10 fingers touch the ground, feet feel nice and firm. And then from there, relax on the upper body a little bit more, let the head rock down. Energize with a little more stretch through the legs. Maybe your goes. Your legs might go all the way straight, keeping fingertips down. Maybe you still need a little bit of bend in the knees and just kind of find your way. The hands staying down on the mat are gonna give us a nice connection. Full chain of the body, nice and closed there to keep us safe in the stretch. Stay here, breathe here. Maybe you will feel the belly kind of rise and fall off of your thighs. That is perfect. Giving us good full signals of connection. And from here, downward facing dog. Place the hands flat. Think of this pose now not as a transition. You're not trying to get anywhere with it. Just your full steady pose. Let all ten fingers wide. Push down much more through the thumb and the first finger. Always look forward at the hands with index fingers straight ahead. That's a good place to start. Press through the hands to get the arms really straight, really strong. Sweep the tips of the shoulder blades in, tone in the belly. If you have tighter hamstrings or low back, just bend the knees here. It'll offer you a little bit more space, a little release in the stretch of the muscles, and uh, might be most optimal for you. All right, one more full breath here in downward facing dog. And then we'll take pigeon pose, right knee to the outside of the right wrist, heel towards the left hip. I like to keep a pretty um, 
inward diagonal here and walk the left leg back. Come down to the forearms. So I'm looking at pigeon pose. We'll call this modified pigeon because it's just the leg portion of the pose. Try to get into a nice safe opening in the hips. Pigeon pose is this position. A lot of folks that give some stress on the knee joint, you can come out of the pose if that's the case for you, like down on your back and cross over and we'll target the same muscle group. And then we need to switch to the second side. So we're gonna lift the torso back upright, walk the back knee in. Maybe just switch through all fours and then shift left knee forward, heel over towards the opposite hip, walk the back leg back and come down to the forearms. Might go a tad over our regular 25 minutes for this practice. Just really make sure that we feel relaxed, fully stretched for today. Nice welcome end perhaps to the week if you are doing the whole series in succession. All right, let's come back up to all fours. A few rounds of cat and cow here. Pull the chest forward, eyes and tailbone up to the sky. Exhale, round the back. Inhale through cow. Exhale for cat. Yeah, just one more time here. Exhale, round. Okay, take a full seat on your mat. And legs can stretch straight out in front of you. Hands at the waist, flex your feet, toes and knees straight up to the sky. Take your right foot in and over. With the right foot flat and both sides of the seat fully on the ground here. And then we'll add a twist towards the lifted thigh. So it should be over towards the right, look over your right shoulder. I like to wrap the opposite arm to the front of the shin and have your back hand pretty close into the body so that it can serve as a point to lift from. So we're not trying to relax back here. We are staying lifted. Inhale, come back around to your center, stretch the leg out and switch sides. Left foot in and over and at the twist. Come back to your center. Okay, so let's face the long edge of our yoga mat. Sit with your seat at the back side and then feet together towards the front long edge of the mat. From here, hold on to your shins, and then lift the chest, fold over. Just two breaths. And then come on back up and stretch your legs out to meet towards the top corners of the mat. So if I'm sitting on the back long edge, I've got my heels towards the front corner edges of the mat. Take your hands, interlace like you're mixing up a huge pot of soup. Take it around and full. Three times in one direction and then three times around in the second direction. Three times each way, hands right out in front, walk it forward, keep a good little look at your toes and knees still straight up towards the sky. Stay engaged in the muscles. We are not relaxing the muscles here, they are strong. For us, so we find strength in the pose. As we go into a deeper stretch, it keeps us safe. Maybe down to the forearms, find your position. Just two more breaths in this wide-legged forward fold. And bring it back upright. Hold on to the 
crease in the knees, safely bring everything back in. Give yourself like a seated child's pose, little hug in here. Thanks for the good work of the practice. And we're gonna lay down onto our back. Lay down, head towards you guys, and pull the knees into the chest. So now you're in that child's pose again, but lying down onto your back. Close your eyes. Allow your body, your mind to really shift to an even softer place of release. Hold on to just the right knee, extend the left leg down to the mat, and then right leg straight into the air. You can hold behind the shin or behind the thigh, whatever works for you. Another Good stretch, but an easeful one along the hamstrings. Not trying to overdo it here. Cooling down. Lower the right leg down, pull the left knee into your chest, give it a nice little squeeze. And leg straight up to the sky. My favorite, not to be missed, I'm just going to shift how I am. If you're still here on your back, take the hands out in a T shape and lower both knees to the right in a supine twist. This is one of my more favorite uh, exercises to move through when I'm maybe watching TV at night. Do all these supine stretches. Take the knees across the center and then off to the second side. Right, I'll take you just a minute or two past our regular 25 minutes. Knees back into the chest. Well worth those extra moments of release. Extend your arms and legs. I'll shift my body just one more time in this space for your Shavasana. In just 30 seconds here, Shavasana. Let's take five deep breaths together, belly breathing in and out. Belly breathing in. Three more breaths like that. And then slowly make your way back to a seated position. cross-legged, hands together, thumbs to the sternum. This is Anjali Mudra. Again, back to that intention for practice, allowing the fullness of this practice, the release, the extension that we found in the body to continue out into the rest of your day. Thank you for being here. To honor yourself, each other this practice. Namaste.